So how can you come out poly? I'm Kathy Martilli from the Intimacy jo- Dojo.com and I'm here with Tamara Pincus from TamaraPincus.com and you wrote this book. You wrote a book on coming out poly. I did. It's called it's called Polyamory, Coming Out About Your Non-Monogamous Relationships. I love um, that. And, and it's hard. That's a ch- like I, there's still people I've been poly for like six years or probably I'm probably before then, but then I realized that I was poly, but I have a lot of people I don't I don't say anything to. It's there's a lot of judgment still. And I think there is a lot of judgment, and I don't think it makes sense to come out to everyone because I do feel like, you know, if your family is going to entirely reject you, yeah. or if you're going to lose your employment, or you're going to lose your child custody, absolutely, yeah, don't I, feel, come out. Yeah. I think that we have this idea that like it's morally superior to come out, and I think that we really need to think about, you know, our privilege. Mm-hmm. It's easier for people who have a more privileged background to to come out. Yeah. Uh, I think that when you do come out, I think it's important to keep in mind that um, it helps to not do it at like major family events or middle like, Thanksgiving or dinner or something, in the middle of your sister's wedding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not so much. Like, definitely choose a separate time. If you think that people are going to freak out, doing it in writing and giving them time to, to freak out on their own before they come back to you it can be helpful. Um, I also think that one of the things that happens is that people who have had infidelity in their past, either with them or their family, um, are likely to lose their shit, yeah. and it's not about you. So expect that that might happen. Mm-hmm. Um, try to be calm if it does. Just calmly explain, this is not infidelity. Yeah. It's really bad. I'm definitely against that. <laughs> well, that's what my question like, how have you found that like because i don't think my family would understand what it is they i think they know polygamy where one man wears multiple women and i think they know cheating but i don't think they really know what polyamory is i mean and i do think like that's part of the stuff that i have in the book is like really some good definitions of like sort of basics of polyamory like how to explain explain your relationships and i think that giving them a really simple view of it to start is helpful like i think if you start using like the special poly language, like compersion and metamor and trouble yeah. and cowboy, like all that stuff, like early, like early on, like people are just gonna be like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. So I think you want to keep it as simple as you can and only explain what what they really need to know. So don't um, you think you, they don't need to know the details of your sex life? Yeah. Like you don't. No. I don't need my mother to know who I sleep with or how. So you just you use two terms. I haven't heard frubble or cowboying. Can you define those for us? Um, so frubble is, is, I believe, another word for compersion. Okay, so compersion is the opposite of jealousy. It's when I delight in, in you having a good time. I get that, okay? Yeah, that's my understanding of frubble. I could be wrong. Okay. And cowboying is when you go into a um, somebody in a like to somebody in a poly relationship and you try to lure them away for a monogamous relationship. Oh, okay. Um, Wrangle them right away. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. Try to get, get them away from the herd. Um, that's cowboying. Oh, great. Thank you. I See, I'm, I learned something new. Yeah, I, um, I have seen like whole glossaries of words. I think I'm trying to remember if the book has a glossary. I think there may be some. <laughs> some helpful terminology in the book as well yeah oh that's great and so where can they buy your book if they're interested um amazon.com okay. is probably the easiest and um and there is an ebook version available so um so if you don't want to have to have an extra piece of like pile of paper to lug around if you're save a tree yeah like, ebook is the way to go wonderful and you offer coaching therapy on your site as well so I am a an ASEX certified sex therapist mm-hmm. and a licensed clinical social worker. Mm-hmm. So I try to do most of my work in person if yeah. possible. Um, so I tend to work mostly with people in the Washington DC area. Um, I mean, I can't do occasional online things, but I prefer to do in person. Yeah, that's great. I mean, I, I wish I'd had someone who kind of coached me through it. I was like, oh wow, I do, I am poly like it was very awkward and I would have loved to someone kind of even just a couple sessions to kind of point me in the right direction so that I didn't have to be so I had a lot of shame like what if I'm doing it wrong what if I'm not a good poly person like we get lots of like what is a good poly person and like stuff about like 
if I feel jealous, can I be a good poly person? Yeah. Humans feel jealous. Jealousy is okay. Acting on it, not fixing, not working through it, that's that's a problem. So. Yeah, so that's one of the things I end up working with people in open relationships about a lot is actually how to come up with a plan for managing the complex emotions that come up and without having to use controlling your partner's behavior as your way of coping with your jealousy because oh. that really cause problems over, t- over time. Yeah. And you're really controlled and sometimes angry. So, so that's one of the things I work on. Yeah, that's great. Um, it, so please check out Tamara at tamarapinkis.com. Tamara, thank you so much for sharing. This was, this was so lovely. You're welcome. Thanks for having me.